Hey folks, we've seen Marty the robot being unboxed, we've seen Marty being built, now it's time to see Marty in action. But first, it's time for a makeover. Okay, now that's taken care of, it's time to get programming. So if you're buying your own Marty, then you'll no doubt be connecting him to your own Wi-Fi in order to control him. I'm using this though, the Robotical Command Hub Plus. You can buy this separately, and it does come bundled with the Marty class pack of 10 assembled robots, or the One Robot Edu pack. It has the added benefit of having Scratch pre-installed, and allows you to program Marty completely offline. However you connect Marty, there are instructions on Robotical's website. I've already gone through the process of connecting the computer to the command hub and calibrating Marty, so it's time to start up Scratch and get Marty connected. On the left hand side of the screen, you can now see a long list of commands or actions called the Actions Library. I can click here to get Marty ready, or here to make him wiggle. But I can also drag the actions here onto the programming area to connect them together as a program. After getting acquainted with all of Marty's actions, you could have a competition to see who could design the best dance. So, what do you think? Which one of these dances do you prefer? Tell me in the comments below. Here's dance one. And here is Dance 2. But don't forget, Marty is a walking robot, which sets him apart from the other robots in this video series. Once you've investigated how Marty can walk in more detail, changing the length or time taken for each step, and the various ways to get him to turn, you could test your skills by getting him to complete a maze or obstacle course. You could even add a little competition by trying to beat the best time, or again, having Marty perform a dance at the end. Having used Marty with a group of school pupils, there's a lot more enthusiasm to get involved, and he certainly helps bring coding to life. When they see him walking or dancing around as a result of commands that they've inputted, they get a far better understanding because they can see something moving in the real world rather than just a graphic on the screen. Marty also has a real charm too, which is something you can't say about all robots. Maybe that's why someone who will remain nameless and should be getting on with other things designed and built a model microphone to demonstrate another of Marty's talents. No, he can't talk and he can't sing, but he is musical. Let's hear it, Marty. If it's your birthday today, then that was just for you. Now, to get Marty to do that, I had to find the music online, search for the frequencies of each note, then construct the code. So, just in that short demonstration, there's a lot of opportunity for learning and for drawing in knowledge from a wide range of disciplines. You'll find all the information you could want on Robotical's website, which will help you get your Marty connected as well as teach you how to program him in Scratch or Python. You'll also find a list of fun activities to follow either at home or in the classroom. Talking about education, there's a dedicated area on Robotical's website for educators with curriculum guides which show how Marty links to your curriculum, as well as lesson packs containing, among other things, teacher guides, PowerPoint presentations, student workbooks, and solutions to the various activities. So there you go. I've had lots of fun programming Marty, as have the pupils that have worked with him too. I hope to feature Marty in a future video where I can show how he can interact with the world using the bump sensors, as well as the inexpensive distance sensor which can be bought as an add-on. If you're like me and love building things, then the Marty kit is your best option, although you can buy one fully assembled. 
I've put a link in the description to where you can get your hands on your own Marty the Robot. If you've enjoyed watching the video and want to know when new ones are released, then why not subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. For now though, that's us. See you next time.